What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I'm going to show you how to turn your Android phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, so we're going to want to do, you're going to want to download this app right here called Quick Settings, okay? It's free in the uh, Android market and it's it's really helpful to use for, you can turn off your Wi-Fi, your 3G and all that kind of stuff right right through this. But and, uh, a pretty cool feature it has is called Wi-Fi Hotspot. So when you first install the app, it's going to have a few options right here but you won't be able to scroll down or anything like that so you're going to want to click the options button come down here and click customize okay and then here there's a there's a couple more options you can choose from you're going to want to find the wi-fi hotspot one and click and drag it up to pass this bar so that it'll be in the regular one okay so after you do that you click on uh, quick settings scroll down um and you want to come down here and click on turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. It'll say turning on. You'll have to have uh, 3G data connected and stuff and that'll be turned on. And come up here and it should have that icon right up there, that blue Wi-Fi icon. It'll say that it is working. So you can touch the configure and you can do, uh, you can turn it on. You can also um, set a password uh, just like that. So you can set the name of it. Mine's Android and I have a password connected to it. Um, so that when you try to connect it to another device, you have to type in the password. So now I'm going to connect to that Wi-Fi through my iPod Touch. So I'm going to come into settings. Go to general. Oops, sorry. Go to Wi-Fi. And there's Android. So that's my, that's my phone's Wi-Fi right there. And that's my house. So I'm going to click on Android. It's going to ask me to type in the password, so I'm going to type in the password. Okay. Typed in the password, and now it is connected through Wi-Fi. I'm going to let it connect through the phone, and it's connected. So, now if I go into Safari, and if I go to, say, YouTube.com, I will show you that it is loading. And there's YouTube. So it is a little bit slower, but that's because you're tethering it through the uh, phone itself. Um, I went to Radford University this weekend just to go uh, have a campus tour, and I used my phone's uh, portable Wi-Fi uh, so I could play a, an app. I can download an app on my iPod in the car. So I was able to use my phone's Wi-Fi to download an app on my iPod through the car or uh, when, I, when I was in the car without any Wi-Fi uh, to the car or anything like that, just tethering it from my phone to my iPod. So that is the easiest way to do it. Just download quick settings and you can uh, use it for a Wi-Fi hotspot. This will let you connect to your computer, your iPod, your iPhone. Um, I guess you would already have 3G with the iPhone, but your computer, your iPod, your uh, any other device that, it, that has Wi-Fi with it, you can connect to your phone and it'll work just like the iPod did right here. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, I use it all the time. If I'm ever out and I wanna use my iPod to download something, I will just connect it to my phone if I wanna upload a video. Um, you guys seen me, you've seen me upload it through the car. Um, I've done that before. So this is the easiest way to do it. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, just post a comment below or send me a direct message um, and subscribe to me for new videos, all right? Thanks guys.